episode 14, we are on our way. We are past X Men. They are ready to start a new season in the XWF. And the lightning season will begin tomorrow. We are about to wade through of a new show that ends with Tracy. Match starts, maybe some good sportsmanship. Yeah, maybe that's oh! all too much. <laughs> Escalate the disrespect. But guys, you know, they should have known better than to take the bait. And one of these two superstars ended up looking like a fool, and we are just getting started. Tensions are high. Let's see if any sort of begrudging respect comes out of this one after the The pump handle. Suplex launched. And yet, XWF Mania. Oh, and a burst. Now, here's the thing. This may be a suplex. We have made it back under the X. A solid suplex. Springboard. 
is the attitude of a dare. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute rules abandoned. Helpless to every attack. He's just on the wrong side of every maneuver. Often in the pen. Two count and they kick out at two. And frustration might be set in. potential here. There always is, but they're not exactly having to be ripped apart from each other yet. Vicious right for him. And just a high proficiency of attacks from him now. We are looking at an unyielding attack from him. Time trash talking in here. The official gonna ring the bell. We're underway. Oh, goodness. The official's been laid out. Well, we gotta be concerned about the health of the referee right now. There's no telling what could happen. Is that an official start? Match, so we are proceeding with this match. We all know just how much a calculated attack like that could affect the course of this match. Getting a leg up on the competition is the name of the game, Saxton. Work smarter, not harder. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Call the dentist. And there's a takedown. Devastating. He's 
got the whole WWE universe. Oh, 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 pandering to the WWE universe. That should keep her head in the game. Very much about like uh, where Brock is going to get known that he's probably going to come for that. Getting set up for something in the corner. Oh, impressive. Just pure brutality. Easy. That was awareness of positioning. Oh. Single leg takedown. Could be looking for the single leg boxing. Who closed it up? Yep, and the hold is broken. She certainly took a chance there. With no reward. Nicely done. Sometimes you do what you have to do to win, and in this case, it paid off. I have no idea how you can call what they did. More like surviving. It can be what they did to survive. I don't see it very fulfilling. When surviving means you get your arm raised at the end, that means you won, Cole. Sorry it wasn't fulfilling enough. down to the ring and get this matchup underway. Look who's here! The following is a tag team match set for one fall. They are the All the way to the ring at a combined weight of four.
forward attitude. In my opinion, this superstar is the the forward chant was invented. tag team matchup there's a pecking order in the tag team division and one of these teams is jockeying for position at the very top placed in the corner oh, strong knee connects WWE Universe is Tori Wolf's year on this bus right now. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation to the crowd and get back into the fight. Bam. Tagged in.
some gas left in the tank. stages of this matchup. Right and left. Elbows, knees, all of them lethal. Keen on. Betting it up. Thunderous close line. He's feeling the effect of that last hit. He's got to reevaluate his approach at this point. Works the move by throwing his elbow into the section. Big boom! He's just getting beat up front here. Not what you want to see by any means. Position here, guys. Oh, no, no, no. Man, duplex. Oh, oh, the hardest part of the ring. He's struggling a bit here. These two teams. Take down. Oh, 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 oh
of the prize. Definitely bringing the pyro to this matchup. champion this is Chris Danger sporting the brand new XWF championship it's like the title that he first debuted at the start of his title reign but it's all cloud and jewel plated plated and brand new outer side plate sporting the globe with the XWF logo on top of it. And this will be the title this will be how the XWF title looks going forward. Chris Danger holding it up in the air. Let's get this matchup underway.
There we go. All right, we got the... And now the match is now underway. Chris Danger showing off. Eric the Inventor looking to take it to the champion. Arm drag takedown from the champ. Oh, oh! Oh, wow. Like the champion not looking good earlier on, early on in this matchup. Eric the Inventor trying to make this guy sweat. Takes him down. Chris Danger going ground and pound onto the champion. There we go. Yeah, now Chris Danger going right back to the back to work. On the challenger. Oh, he's telling him it's over with. Oh, V trigger to the face. Oh, kick to the midsection. Eric gets out of it. Luthez press takes down the champion. Oh, my goodness. Now going for the cover. One, only a one count on the champ. Stiff punch taking him down. Oof. Oh, now he's continuing to drop the knee. Picking him back up. Deadlift. Oh, my God. Into a German suplex. Oh, slamming his face into the mat. Oh, my God. Like the champion is in trouble here. Like Eric the Inventor is really testing the champion. Oh, now Eric goes for the cover. One, only a one count. Uh, Chris Danger rolls back in. Oh my God, he has him up. Uh, oh, Canadian Destroyer. Going for the cover. One, two, and three. Chris Danger picking up the victory over a very tough Eric the Inventor. Here we go. We have to move on to our next matchup. Cameron James Groff taking on Cameron. Falls count anywhere. Let's get down to the ring. Here's the thing. If I can just break kayfabe a little bit. You guys already saw like what I use for a microphone. Let's just see the whole fucking setup here. Turn this around. Yeah. That right there. This laptop. <laughs> this laptop is what <laughs> I use this laptop and that little capture card right there are what I use to film 
this entire show. The laptop with OBS on it. That little uh, capture card that I got for 20 bucks from Amazon. <laughs> Actually, 30 bucks, but whatever. And here's the thing. The webcam that I'm using, not really that high high tech anyway. It's a 1080p Logitech. So, yeah. So, yeah. Like, the most expensive part of this setup is the computer, and... <laughs> and that only cost me, like, $150 from Walmart on clear... $150 on clearance from Walmart. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that that is my setup. But now, let's get back to the action, as we are about to get down to the ring for Falls Count Anywhere action between Cameron the Cameronian and Cameron James Groff. Cameron James Groff just coming off of a huge victory at X-Mania against the Beastmaster. Now looking to take on... Cameron, the dumpster demon. The guy who likes to beat the shit out of people in the parking lot of a Taco Bell. And here comes Cameron James Groff, the former XWF champion, hoping to get back to that spot. Like, this guy definitely wants to become XWF champion once again. Move the corners. Why not have two fucking XWF logos? <laughs> and here's the thing the debut episode of XWF Mayhem is tomorrow. But right now we got Cameron James Groff in the ring ready for his one-on-one -on -one matchup. And now here comes his opponent down to the ring. This is the dumpster demon, Cameron. Hey, he's called that because he hands out dumpster beatings in the parking lot of Taco Bell. Like, he beats the shit out of you in the parking lot, then tosses you in the Taco Bell dumpster. making his way down to the ring like here's the thing he probably likes those parking lot brawls because they're not as restrictive as our Falls Count Anywhere matches because like here's the thing like we can't necessarily go as hardcore as we want because like we do have to uh have to uh, fall within the limits of standards and practices, but I'm pretty sure this guy wants to literally do everything he wants, everything he could do to somebody in a uh, in a parking lot brawl, but hey, we're not allowed to do it. He wants to literally beat somebody bloody, not just a little kayfabe cut on your forehead, but he literally wants to beat them to where they're almost bleeding to death. 
And we can't fucking do that. We can't do that. Oh my god. Inverted Boston Crab. Oh my god. Oh! He got out of it. DDT. He's taking out the big man. Oh, 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 pounce. Oh, my God. Oh, he's hitting him with the blob de blob de blob de blah. Oh, oh, working over the arm, dropping the leg on it. Blabdy, 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 blabdy. Uh, oh my God! Now he's choking him. Yeah, that is some ruthlessness. Like, <laughs> uh, that's one way to take a big man down. Now Cameron James going for the. Oh, he pulled out a chair, the folding chair, looking to fold. Oh, now Cameron looking for. Oh, the kendo stick. Oh, here we go. Oh, right to the face. Oh, now he's going for the quick pin. One, two, and oh. Hey, that almost uh, put him down. Ooh, DDT on the floor. Yeah, creative offense. That's basically what we try to try to encourage in this type of match. But, <laughs> hey, we do have limits. And those limits are set by uh, standards and practices. We're not going to allow somebody to pull out, uh, pull out a giant, pull out a box of light tubes. Yeah. Uh, God damn it. Now, here we go. Now they're back in the ring. Oh! oh! Close line to the corner. Oh, uh, here we go. Oh, my. Trap the... Yeah, like Cameron going right for that uh, surgically repaired arm. Oh! Oh, Demon Driver! He's going for the cover. One, two, and... Oh, Cameron James powers out at two. Like, here's the thing. Like, uh, usually... Oh, feast your eyes, and that busted them open. Like, here's the thing. Like, like I'm pretty sure, like, uh... Like, here's the thing. That would bust you open because this guy does leg day every day and his day to the point where his legs are lethal weapons. Lethal weapons like Steve Blackman. Oh, it's about... Oh, and of days on the floor now going for the cover. One, two, and three. Cameron the Cameronian. Picking up the victory. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's definitely looking to come after that title. Yeah, Cameron is definitely looking for that XWF championship. All right, what do we got? Oh, it's title match time. Hollywood Hooligan taking on Keemstar for the BMF championship. Hey, Keemstar at least got two weeks off. Now he has to put that championship on the line.
forgot, for the half part of this show, I was looking like a wild psychopath. Let's get down to the ring for this title match. We gotta at least try to keep this show somewhat professional. The challenger is now on their way down to the ring. Damn, Hollywood Hooligan bringing all the pyro. Yeah, tomorrow night we got the debut of X Dup the. I mean, the re-debut of XWF Mayhem. This Saturday is the debut of RGW Riot Girls Wrestling. Rebranded from Women's Rush Hour. But right now, this is episode 14 of XWF Warzone. Damn, we actually made it to 14 episodes. Yeah, Hollywood Hooligan is definitely ready to win gold here tonight. Bullet Club, bitch! Alright, here comes uh, the current reigning and defending BMF champion. This is DJ Killer Keemstar. Yeah. His attitude may be uh, worthy of being a BMF champion, but, uh, <laughs> hey, does this guy really look like a uh, BMF? Hey. Hey. He may be a farm boy, but, uh, <laughs> hey. Hey, Killer Keemstar may be a farm boy, but he ain't no Brock Lesnar. He's not Brock Lesnar farm boy. Oh, and now he's delivering the crotch chops, telling everybody to suck it. Right before spitting his tongue out. Oh, God. I forgot Keemstar had this theme song. He's gonna get this fucking show blocked in a cup, blocked in a couple countries. Ah, oh, yeah, and that's what they're fighting for. Like, god damn it, Keemstar! You're gonna get this fucking show blocked in a couple countries. The challenger. Yeah, he's definitely showing off with the title over his shoulder. Like, I keep forgetting, like, Keemstar's, Keemstar's gonna evidently, uh, get, <laughs> well, yeah, I forgot, like, Keemstar had the song Real American, this motherfucker's gonna get this uh, episode blocked in a couple countries over copyright. 
So if any of you watch the, watch this show in Russia, hey, you're shit out of luck because of Keemstar's entrance theme. Oh, here we go. Oh, nice insiguri. Oh, Spanish fly taking down Keemstar. Ooh, damn. Yeah, Hollywood hooligan looking to take this championship away from Keemstar. Keemstar winning that belt from Charlie Bonifer to only a two count. Charlie Bonifer still the reigning and defending XWF United States champion who just retained that championship at X Mania from the from uh by defeating Bosti in a very tough title match. Like Bosti almost had Bonifer. Oh, oh, nice back body drop from uh, Keemstar. Keemstar definitely showing that he that he is willing to take this. Oh my God! Now takes him down. He's going to pin him on the outside of the ring. Only a one count. Keemstar proving that he is taking this uh, this uh, venture seriously, and he's not just here to make a mockery of it. Oh, now he's working over the arm. Like, a lot of people thought that Keemstar was only here to make a mockery of professional wrestling, and yeah, he's been with the Extreme Wrestling Federation for a few years now, and... That's pretty much, much enough to show that Keemstar is serious about being a sports entertainer, entertainer as well as a gaming entertainer. Oh, Kendo stick shot to the midsection. Like, here's the thing. Like, he's shown more intrigue of keep being serious about this just as much as Logan Paul ha and another Spanish fly from the Hollywood hooligan Hollywood hooligan definitely looking to uh, dethrone the BMF champion in this matchup uh, oh, Tosses Keemstar back into the ring. Oh, springboard into a DDT. Taking the champion down. Chopped to the chest. Uh, tie up. Irish whip into the corner. Oh. Oh, reversal from Keemstar. Turn him around and... Irish whip off the ropes. Ooh, bang with the forearm going for the cover one two and three keemstar retains and keeps the bmf championship up oh, yep and here it is oh come on yeah yeah, here's the thing. Like, remind somebody remind uh, our ch the chairwoman to uh, find this guy for top every time he tosses the ref out of the ring. Like, here's the thing. You can't lay your hands on the officials. Like, come on, Claire. You gotta find this guy. I <laughs> I get like this guy uh, brings in viewers as a celebrity, as a uh, social media celebrity attraction. But Jesus Christ, you got you can't set the set a precedent to where he's going to lay hands on the officials. 
Oh, here we go. We got more tag team action. The Legends of New Jersey taking on No Laughing Matter in Tornado Tag Team Action. Action. Legends of New Jersey retaining their XWF Tag Team Championships against New Legacy Inc. Like I said, like uh, we had a Bizarro World X Mania, where 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 only Elsa Royal became uh, became a new champion that night. Well, yeah, let's get down to the ring and get this matchup underway. Also, at the end of May, we have XWF after shock this is going to be good and here we go we got the champs coming down to the ring with the title still around their waists Both these men. Yeah. And here's the thing, like they're saying, like they partied all night. Like, after they retain those championships, we are hearing that they partied all night at DJ's when they retain those championships. But here's the thing. Party's over. Now they have to get back to work and defend those championships. And now here come their opponents. Art the Clown and Captain Spaulding. They are no laughing matter. Here's the thing, we got a lot of tag teams here in the XWF. And we definitely like to showcase all of them, just as much as we like to showcase our women's division. just a commentator and I'd like to do my do showmanship oh 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 here we go here we go here we go boom bring the fire and 
Here we go. We are ready to go. Referee, ring the bell. Uh, now the champions are taking it to the challengers. Uh, oh. oh! Oh my god. Oh, Jada Key Evans gets out of it. Uh, uh. Uh, he might be getting double teamed by... Uh... Nope. Jake Cage returns to the ring and he gets a big boot from Captain Spaulding. Uh, he's up. Oh my god! Seems like Legends of New Jersey might have partied a little too much after their vi X Mania victory. But then again, like the, we had like a week off after X Mania, so <laughs> they could have recovered from that. I think like they uh, partied a little extra WrestleMania weekend. Falcon Arrow from Jay the Key. Terrifier. Uh, like Art the Clown taking down uh, Jake Cage. Now the Art uh, getting double teamed. But... Uh -oh. Ooh. Damn, Captain Spaulding taking down Jake Cage. Now he's working over Jake. I think Jake Cage might still be hung over. I think Jake Cage might still be hung over. Like, even though, like, uh, like, X Mania 9 was last Sunday. How can you still be hung over? Unless they still partied uh, for the entire fucking week. Now Jake Cage recovering. He puts uh Oh now he's putting the boots to Captain Spaulding. We gotta cover one, two, and no. Art the clown kicks out. Now Jake Cage with the cover on Captain Spaulding. Only a two count. Oh nice dive from Jay the Key. Now Captain Spaulding go for the cover. Two and it's broken up by Jay the Key Evans. Oh, nice uh, roundhouse kick to the back of Captain Spaulding's head, and he rakes the back. Legends of New Jersey need to shake off whatever rust that they've had for the past week. Like, here's the thing: like, we're get, we're getting back into the full swing here at the, here in the XWF. So, like, you might want to. Uh, Bring the business. Oh, oh, that was a knockout. We got a cover, and it's broken up by Jake Cage. Tie up. Oh, go behind. Oh, back body drop from Art the Clown. Roll through into a German suplex. Picking him up again. Roll through into a vertical suplex. Oh! Oh no, he has a, oh my god, F10 face breaker, now he's going for the cover, one, two, oh, Jake Cage gets his hand on the ropes, referee sees it and calls for the break, Jay the key rolls to the outside, now Captain Spaulding going right after, oh, neck breaker, uh, Jake Cage, Oh, fall away slam to Art the Clown, like Jake Cage get, uh, trying to battle his way back into it. Clothesline to Art the Clown, Jay the Key going after Captain Spaulding. Jake Cage choking out Art the Clown. Oh, oh. Nice suplex. Oh, punch the face. Art the Clown laying against the ropes. Uh, oh, and a reversal. Oh, Luthes press! What? And now he's laying ground and pound to Art the Clown. Uh, uh, oh, my God. Deadlift military press. And now he's just pumping him. I will pump you up and slams him down to the mat. 
Spear! Now he's going for the cover. One, two, and no! Art the Clown keeping this match alive. Captain Spaulding now going after uh, Jay the Key. Oh, Jake Cage setting it up one more time. Captain Spaulding got your nose. Oh, oh, oh! He ducked it. He didn't duck it. He just leapfrogged it. Oh! Twisting the neck and now going for the cover. What? Oh! Jake Cage kicking out at one. He's just shooting on him. Oh my. Oh! And now the Art the Clown using his finisher. Oh, oh my god! He's got the vice grip locked in! Oh my god! Oh! Slamming him down to the mat! Now he's going for the cover! One! Two! And Jay the Key just bare, getting, breaking it up in the nick of time! Oh, he has him up. Has him up. And that's what you take. And that... Oh yeah, Jay the Key Evans is busted open. Luthor's press! Jake Cage trying to keep this match alive. Oh. Oh my god. Spinning him around. Oh, sit up, Powerbomb. Going for the cover. One. Two. Oh. Jake Cage barely kicking out. Now Art the Clown is busted open. Oh. Oh. He avoids... Oh, Black Mass! He's down! Oh, Jay's way! Jay's way! Oh, he avoided that one. Now, Jake, going for the cover. It's broken up. Oh! Insiguri. Now they're both telling them to get up. Get up, bitches. Oh! He's up. Oh! Death Valley Driver! Oh! Speared off the apron. Now we're going outside the ring. Uh, the match cannot end out here. Oh my god, Art the Clown just smashing uh, Jay the Key. Oh. 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 Captain Spaulding fights out of it. Oh, reverse choke slam! Oh. Jay having his head smashed into the barricade. Uh, oh! Yeah, meet the barricade, bitch. Oh, helicopter spin. Oh, barrage of headbutts from Captain Spaulding. And now Jay tossed in the inside. Now Captain Spaulding returning. Oh, Black Mass! Now Jay the Key going for the cover. One, two, and no! Captain Spaulding kicks out. Oh! Uh, oh! Oh my god! Torpedo Moscow! Oh! Uh, nope. Oh! Oh my god! Jake it! Jake Cage uh, breaks it up! Oh my god! Submission locked in! Oh my! Jake Cage! In trouble here. Oh! Oh my god. 
Got that claw locked in on. Oof. Oh, yeah. Jay the Key is just getting massacred right now. Oh, go behind. Oh, 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 GT, that was a feast your eyes. That was going right for the, oh my God, he's just punching him right in the knee. Oh, oh my God. Jay Cage countered that. Oh. oh, oh, Jay rolling out. Oh, glorious DDT. Now Jake going for the cover. Can he win? One, two, three. The legends of New Jersey pick up the victory. That was a hard fought victory. Like, we got to have a battered and bloody Jay the Key Evans. A very battered uh, Jake Cage, but the Legends of New Jersey still victorious. Okay. And here's the thing, we must move on. Even though this ain't plugged in at the moment, we are moving on to our main event of the evening. Had to do that just to announce our main event. We got New Legacy Inc. taking on Why So Delirious in Tornado Tag Team Action. Let's get down to the ring and get this matchup underway. Hey. Awesome Truth are the new uh, Raw Tag Team Champions. <laughs> Let's get this matchup underway. All right. And New Legacy Inc. looking to rebound after their devastating loss in the X-Mania main event. Yeah, they lost, lost to the legends of New Ju Jersey, who were victorious in their match tonight. Now, New Legacy Inc. is looking to rebound to hopefully get another shot at those tag team championships. But they have to go through a veteran tag team known as, as Why So Delirious, made up of cartoons and H2O Delirious. Now here's the thing, it's gonna be a long road back to those tag team championships. Can this team do it?
And now here come their opponents for tonight's main event. Cartoons and H2O Delirious, they are known as Why So Delirious. Don't get run over. All right, referee, ring the bell. This main event is now underway. Duel and John Blood taking on Why So Delirious. <coughs> in hopes to get back into contention for those tag titles. Oh, he gets tossed. Oh, duel. Oh, spear to the outside. Damn, that is definite, re definitely reckless. Now John Blood go for the cover. One, two, and no. Cartoons kicking his way out. Here's the thing. For anybody asking, Cartoons' uh, skin is not red. He paints them. That is body paint. And now, oh my God, Barrage of Headbutts from Duel to H2O. Cartoon's getting beat up by John Blood right now. I'm pretty sure, like, those Barrage of Headbutts might have hurt Duel more than it did H2O Delirious because he is wearing that hard, that, uh, that hockey mask, which is definitely made out of hard plastic. Ooh! Nope. But then again, like, why so delirious are the ones in... Tr oh, Stair! Stair! Now he's going for the cover. One, two, and three! New Legacy Inc. Pick up the victory in our main event. No, it, they are fighting their way back to those tag titles. And here's the thing. Legends of New Jersey did have a little bit of trouble defeating uh, No Laughing Matter. So here's the thing. If they keep up this aggression, they will be the new XWF World Tag Team Champions. But that brings us to the end of tonight's episode of XWF Warzone. So, till tomorrow when we meet, we'll, when we will see you for the re-debut of XWF Mayhem. And on Sunday, for the debut of RGW Riot Girls Wrestling. Peace the fuck out.